You know, we tend to focus on higher end products on the channel when reviewing things like CPU coolers, knowing full well there are plenty of people out there who can't afford to dump a hundred bucks on a CPU cooler alone. So let's take a look at something more affordable. Arctic sent over the brand new Freezer 7X cooler for review, so let's check it out. Announced February 2020, the Arctic Freezer 7X is the successor to the Freezer 7 Pro. With an improved heatsink design and reworked heat pipe layout, Arctic claims the 7X outperforms its predecessor in both cooling performance and noise. The single tower cooler has a few nice design features like two direct touch heat pipes, a 92mm pressure optimized fan with speeds from 300 to 2000 RPM, an integrated ducting shroud over the 44 fin tower, a 6 year warranty, and it fits practically every modern CPU on the market today. The Freezer 7X is a value line product meant to give users looking to replace their OEM heatsinks better cooling without breaking the bank. If you're looking to buy the Freezer 7X, you can find it on Amazon for around $20. Okay, like we always do before we begin testing, let's pull the fan off this heatsink and heat it up on our test bench to see how the heat travels through this cooler. Using our thermal camera, we'll see how the heat moves from the base plate up the pipes into the cooling area and we'll speed this up for brevity. Now on to our testing. Using our Peltier test bench, we'll first test the maximum sustained temperature with the fans running at full and half speed. We'll also note the maximum sustained wattage consumed by the cooler during these tests. Next, we'll test the amount of noise the cooler generates at full and half speed normalized to room ambient levels. And finally, we'll compare the 7X to two standard OEM coolers, one from Intel and one from AMD. Now on to those results. In the full speed sustained heating test, the Freezer 7X reached a maximum sustained temperature of 47 degrees Celsius or 116.6 degrees Fahrenheit. During this test, the cooler consumed 213 watts of energy. In the high speed fan noise test, the cooler produced 18.6 dB of noise over ambient. In the half speed sustained heating test, the Freezer 7X reached a maximum sustained temperature of 68.4 degrees Celsius or 155.1 degrees Fahrenheit. At this test, the cooler consumed 198 watts of energy. Lastly, running at half speed, the noise generated was only 1.8 dB over ambient and was barely audible. Okay, now let's see how the Freezer 7X compares to two standard OEM coolers. Overall, the Freezer 7X competed well against the standard OEM coolers, but didn't exactly blow them away. In the high-speed fan test, the 7X and the Intel were nearly evenly matched on cooler temperature, with the AMD cooler trailing behind by 13.8 degrees. It was a different story in the half-speed test, however. The half-speed tests show a cooler that is quieter and more efficient than both the AMD and Intel coolers at slower speeds. All right, it's time to talk about what we think of the Arctic Freezer 7X cooler, and right off the top, it does look like it does a better job than the OEM coolers. Based on the test, the 7X would be an improvement over both, especially if you're looking to quiet down your system. And for around 20 bucks, it's a good deal. This is a value cooler, and like all value coolers, there's a compromise to be made between price and performance, and the 7X seems to strike it well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for our video today. I genuinely hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making it and would love to know what you think. So get down in those comments and let me know what you think of the Arctic Freezer 7X, uh, what you think of our testing methods, what your favorite cooler is. Get down there and let us know. If this is the first time you've seen us, please consider subscribing because it really helps us out and keeps us making these videos. We've got a website right here where we put all of the testing results from all of the videos we do, including this one. If you're an Instagram or Twitter user, you can follow the channel right here at Two Guys Tech. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.